Patricia, welcome and congratulations on all the success you've had making Centex the leading NFT market on Hedera. Thank you so much, Brandon. It's a pleasure to be here and um, let's talk about all of this. It's really important for our users and for the community. So let's dive in. Yeah, no question about it. This has been long overdue, so I'm happy to talk to you. So why, in your opinion, is a thriving retail NFT ecosystem important for the HBAR economy? Okay, so this is for me the million dollar question, because we all know that on ecosystems and networks like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like Solana, there's millions and millions of dollars a day going through the ecosystem because of NFTs. So this for me, retail and NFTs in particular, and now uh, meme coins as well, is the greeting card of a successful crypto network. Because when you think crypto, you don't think institutions we are not there yet you think the users that are after nfts that are after meme tokens it's what drives people to crypto the ones that right now utilize crypto in their everyday lives and this is why nfts are so important uh for the hedera eco space because i believe that we have the technology the network is one of the best to be able to host nfts and now we need to make sure that we have the infrastructure, we will have the platforms and we do have the platforms right now. So we will make this space a thriving one for NFTs so that we can see part of those millions of dollars a day flowing through Ether as well. Because of course we want to see that it's going to be a success case that Ether can present and say, okay, listen, I accomplished this with just a couple of crypto enthusiasts because it's that you have people that are enthusiastic about crypto and we are such a small person percentage of the entire world population right now, as you know. And it's super important for any network to be able to approach an institution and say, okay, this is what I could do with just a couple of uh, crypto people that don't care about anything else other than collecting JPEGs. <laughs> so imagine what we can do for your business. And for me, this is a successful business case that we want to present as a network. So Right now, we just need more eyes, more visibility for our NFT ecosystem because we are ready, I believe. Uh, the platforms are here. Uh, we have tons of features. We have features that are not even present on any other ecosystem. And this is insane. So let's bring more eyes and let's bring those millions of dollars towards it there as well. <laughs> There's so many great tools, you know, from the, the base layer services of Hedera, but also the infrastructure that's being built around Hedera. And Centex is a really important part of that. And you've talked about some of those features. So what are some of the features that make Centex stand out? And what are your plans to stay innovative going into the future? Okay, so the one that I'm uh, the proudest of in terms of features are our bulk actions. Because with bulk actions, you can do so much in such a quick way, our current record is a user selling 490 NFTs in one single action from their side in this case. And what happened was the user added 490 NFTs to the shopping cart that we have at Centex. It then clicked um, instant sell. The platform found 490 uh, buyers or less buyers that wanted to instant buy those particular NFTs divided into 64 smaller transfers. If I'm not mistaken, in the background, the user doesn't see any of this. And those smaller uh, transactions were submitted to the Hedera network so that they can be approved. Um, so the background will divide those for the user. But the only thing that the user knows is that they added 490 NFTs to their shopping cart, they clicked instant sell, and in seconds, that was done. He had the age bar uh, in his wallet, and the 490 NFTs were divided amongst uh, dozens of buyers. So, <laughs> really so, uh... insane. A real quick question. This is, of course, unique within the Hedera ecosystem as far as NFT marketplaces. But this confused DAP radar a little bit as well, and they were misrepresenting the numbers. Is this also unique within the entire crypto space or, uh, or fairly we, unique? We believe so, because um, from everything that we saw, there's no other marketplace having these um, uh, bulk actions uh, at this level. 
and for example on ethereum uh, i think that OpenSea allows you to buy a couple NFTs at once, but you always have to uh, sign different transactions. Like, for example, if you are buying two NFTs, you still need to sign two transactions. It's not the same way that it works uh, at our level uh, at Centex and on the Hedera network. And I'm not even sure if they are allowing people to do this, um, because it's been a while since I use OpenSea ever since I started with the Hedera. I completely forgot my Ethereum times in terms of NFT plays. So. <laughs> I so there's a, this is true for most of us. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So there's another feature that I thought was really interesting. Of course, uh, HBAR is the, the standard medium of exchange within the, the ecosystem, but you guys are allowing people to buy things with other HTS tokens. Can you touch on that a little bit? Yes, absolutely. This is something that we added very recently. It's the HTS marketplace. We started with Artlinks and their PH team. And the PH team marketplace, it's a bit different in the sense that we build that specifically for the Artlinks team, where the Artlinks team can list NFTs in PH team and their users that have PH team can buy said NFTs. But now we also have out the sauce market and the sauce market, it's for everyone. If you are a creator and have a collection on Edera, you just need to add sauce to your royalties wallet. Our system will pick up within 24 hours max that you added sauce to your royalties wallet. And from that moment on, anyone that has an NFT from your collection will be able to list by using sauce uh, on the, those listings. Uh, what we wanted to do is to create a way for HTSs to have another layer of utility. Because right now you have HTSs having utility inside the project and it ends there pretty much because you either utilize the HTS inside the project or you buy and hold. There's nothing else you can do with it. And now you can use those HTS that you uh, kept and trade NFT that you want. And it's great. I, I, I always say, sometimes it, it seems that I'm not modest enough when I talk about the features, but I'm so excited about them that I always say it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> You deserve it, Patricia. These are really innovative ways to, to use a NFT marketplace. So what are some of the most interesting ways you see NFTs being used in the Hedera ecosystem right now? I think that we only started to see the scope because you know that NFT, NFT network starts with the PFPs. It's the, the profile image. It's the, those are staples and they will always be around. But for example, right now, we recently started a launch for an artist, a Mexican artist launching music NFTs on Edera. We We'll have things like, for example, imagine you have a production company, you want to launch uh, a movie. Why not launch in, in Web3 or a short clip or a documentary and fund yourself that way? And I believe that we are going to have a lot more of that in the future. And right now we are just starting. I still see uh, the header NFT scene as a baby at this point, even if NFTs are here for two years, more or less around that time. But I, I still see the scene as a baby because there's so much that can be done with NFTs on Hedera. And we are just seeing the tip of the iceberg at this point, because if you think about it, you can transform anything into an NFT, absolutely anything that comes to mind. You can have a bar of gold, transform that into an NFT and transfer uh, that bar of gold with the NFT proving ownership into another person. And you have their digital ownership forever. So... And th that's exactly what we think at, at Twigital. That's one of the, the startups that I'm involved with. We give you the ability to capture almost any physical object and represent it in a 3D form as an NFT on the Hedera network. So we're right there with you. <laughs> Patricia, is there anything else you'd like to pass on to the Hedera community on how to get involved or anything else? Uh, so um, the way to get involved with Centex, we are really straightforward for creators that want uh, to launch a collection or want a collection added to the marketplace. Just go to our Discord servers and we have all the information there. Open a ticket if you need to talk to us. We are always available. 
almost around the clock with our amazing team. And I also want to, to say that if it wasn't for the Santex team, this would not be possible because they are our rocks inside of the Discord server where most of our users are. And we also have uh, Santex.io on X. It's our profile. You can also reach us there. You have Patty Alex with two X's. It's my own uh, X profile. I'm also available for anything Santex related as well. And we are working on a lot of things still in the background. I know that it seems that, oh, but they already have a lot of features out, but we are working on so many more. Yesterday, I was talking to a community, the community member and I was saying the issue with us is that we are still finishing one feature and we are already thinking about two or three other more that we want to, want to add to the platform because we are always thinking ahead and thinking about more ways to innovate because the Hedera network allows us for that. It's such a complete infrastructure in terms of everything that we can build on top of that, that the ideas never stop flowing. It's insane. And uh, for the future, you can expect more HTSs to be added. This is definitely a plan of ours. We are not going to stop with sauce. I can say that um, this is already out there. It's still alpha because it's not out, but it's already out there. Uh, we are going to add Graph as well as an HTS marketplace. We are going to add Centex. We are going to add um, HBAR wrapped USDC for people that... Uh, prefer to use a stable token that they have to buy their NFTs instead of using other HTSs or HBAR. So, um, and the list goes on and on because we have so many other projects that already asked us to be added as HTSs. <laughs> Well, Patricia, I've been so impressed to this point. As you come out with new features, it's an open invitation. You're always welcome to come back. Thanks for coming on today and good luck. Thank you so much, Brandon. It will be a pleasure and I will definitely come back. I'm now posting these interviews of Hedera Builders independently to my channel. The community, influencers, and media outlets are free to use this content to spread the word on what's being built on Hedera. Once they're all uploaded, you'll be able to go to my channel and search for whatever topic or team you're interested in to find more information. Or you'll be able to get the most recent Hedera news by watching the latest HBAR Weekly update. So check them out.